hi guys i know that i've been promising you a video on the facebook disable me issue um and i just had to travel for a family emergency and i am not in my studio but i am going to be doing my best i can for my cell phone because i know that um there's plenty of you guys that have been uh, essentially affected by the facebook disabled me and some of you are as i am advertisers and i know how this is like a big 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 deal for us okay so um let me actually go and show you my facebook it's back on it actually came up today and i want to take you up in one thing that i did that took me to basically getting back to it okay now let me just take three steps back my problem it seems like like most people um under the facebook disable me issue are having all of a sudden my problem it was that um i it looked like my account needed an authentication they said that i was gonna need um a code but the code never came okay now before that it's interesting because i had shared a COVID update I don't think it was any sort of uh, um, offensive, but who knows, right? Who knows? I am almost convinced that there is some sort of um, artificial intelligence taking down those kind of messages. And I know that they're just doing as much as they can to, um, you know, avoid the that, that information, right? So without turning this into an issue, whether Facebook should ban content or not, Certainly, that content that was, you know, in my case, user-generated content created my, my ban. And my account actually got disabled, completely disabled. As an advertiser, that's a big deal because, um, of course, you know, I, I am handling campaigns for clients, handling campaigns for my company, and not having that opportunity to change anything on top of being charged, okay, because that never was uh, suspended. So it was, it was really, really weird. Okay. So first thing first, um, I was able to actually get through our account rep over the ads, um, department, right? So we are advertisers. We're partners with Facebook. Now, if you guys are partners as well, you might be experiencing that they can't really help that much. However, they can help you creating a ticket. Now, still when they created a ticket for me um i got the facebook customer service rep and they were not able to help me okay until i did something and this is what i want to share with you because what i did was on my phone and i want to be um you know as as specific as i can so that you guys can do something similar okay maybe you try so the first thing first for first thing okay um you are going to log out from every single computer that you have if we're going to authenticate using your cell phone we're going to log out from every single computer okay that was one big deal that i had okay so log out from every computer if you have your ipad log out as well um in fact i would say if you have other devices delete the app from the device okay after you do that, after you do that, this is the part that is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, there is an app that is called Authenticator. If you have used that app in the past, this is how I got to this place, guys. So I was lucky that I had Authenticator app. It's actually the first one that you see on my left. Okay. This is, um, I'm sorry. No, 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 not this one. Uh, this one, the one that is um, the second one from left to right. Okay, so Authenticator app. This Authenticator app, it's going to generate a code for you. I hope that you had that. If you are an advertiser, I'm pretty sure that you have this app. Okay, so because of Authenticator app, I kind of like was trying to see if I could get to authenticate my SMS requirement to get to where I need it. Okay. And actually it did work, but it was a little bit tricky. So hear me out, please. So what I did was from my cell phone, I deleted the Facebook app and then I used Safari. Okay. I used Safari to go to Facebook. 
and when you access via safari to go to facebook if you are disabled you're actually going to basically get asked to authenticate now again you must have been logged out from everywhere because before you see those sms texts the ones that you cannot reply before that you're going to see the prompt for authenticate now the tricky part of this is that the authenticator app if you have it this is this is in my opinion how i got to unlock this so the authenticator app generated the code for me and what happened was i was able to go to a page that is specifically for accounts that have been disabled and then you are able to upload a driver's license okay i am going to check with you online here if i put the right keywords so that you can see that page hear me out i have a picture i can show it to you but let me see okay um upload upload id disabled profiles profiles facebook okay hear me out like I said, I'm sorry, this, this is really not the video I wanted. Uh, okay, so let me see. So my account is disabled. Not really, the page didn't look like this. Let me see. I have the picture um, of that page. Let me see. I have a picture of that page and that was nope it doesn't look anything like this you see this is this is why i believe that i was able to get through that page using the authenticator app so those of you if you have the app like again delete everything delete the app from your mobile okay um and then the mobile where you have the authenticator app delete facebook app okay then use safari try to log in, generate the authenticator code, put it there, and you will be, you should be seeing the prompt to upload your ID. Um, that's all I did. After that, actually, um, customer service said that they got my request and then my, my profile is on as of today, okay? So find me here if you want to have, you know, um, more conversations about this. Find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram. And of course, you know, um, if you want more details, you know, keep, keep it, you know, let's, let's play together, guys. I know that we have a lot to talk because I'm sure that yes, as I did, we learned a lot from this process. In my case, I learned that I had just given Facebook so much power, just thinking that, you know, in this profile, which I started since 2007, um, I just have so, so, so much, just in pictures. I have so many albums. I actually have albums that I have a lot. So um, I can, at some point, share with my kids. And um, that needs to change, right? I mean, just imagine that you're gonna be just losing all. Um, I don't think we ever thought about that as a possibility, right? So um, anyway, um, let me know what you think and let me know um, where is your process. And um, I hope that if this video can help you in any way, um, that, will be, that will be great, okay? Bye now.